Alright everybody, this is Kevin, G.I. Joe and stuff, doing another super important toy video. This is a super important real toy video, because this uh, toy here is a real toy. So I call them my real toy, real world toy videos. That's the Humvee. The Humvee, I think they called it a 1189, something like that. The Humvee was, um... Is a real army vehicle, well, military vehicle. Look at them tires. Let's try to get a closer look up on it. I have a green one and a beige one. The detail on this thing is ridiculous. You see the screws, the bolts, the um. You can see the handles. The doors open. It looked just like the real one on the inside. I, I've been doing some customs. I'm not going to customize this one. I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to customize. I like the way the tires look. They're really thick. Um, it has that standard um, Humvee engine. Uh, I got a little information on this Humvee too. I did some research. I got my Desert Team and I got my Jungle Team Humvee. This is the jungle, this is the, yeah, this is the desert team. This thing works. A little light up and sounds. See the light? I had this thing for a minute. I think I had this since. That's the machine gun. I put the, um. Thing on here and put a bullet in there. And this one of them toy bike bike bikes I put on the hood. <clears throat> it has everything that the real one has. See the three bullet holes in the window there. The uh, back door don't open with a little hatch on it, but who needs it to open? It has a peg so you can stand man up right on the back of it. Hey, bumper coming out. I'll mess with that later on. This one does not light up or nothing, but this one is in perfect condition i gave one of these away not realizing how long i had them and what was up with them i had this thing since 2004 if you notice it's a little dusty this is the corpse no this is leonardo toys i put leonardo toys with the corpse man i don't like them corpse guy it was all big and bulky i, I kept the guys but i put the corpse in it they're more of the old-fashioned gi joes to me um let me see, I'm going to get some information on this Humvee. Where's my information? The Humvee was, it's a high mobility truck. The, um, cert, the, the U.S. Army needed a high mobility truck in the 80s. And they got, uh, who did they get to make it? Um, A.M. General. Was it, uh, A.M. General. A crossover, a cross, a cross, a vehicle that could cross roads, climb mountains, climb over anything. And on the, on the Humvees, the tires deflate and inflate. It could be dropped out of an airplane. It had its own parachute, and it went and it and it went into service in 1989 in Panama, and in the Gulf War in 1981. The Army has used these Humvees for a long time, but the problem with the Humvee was you only get 10 miles per gallon. Even if it was a diesel engine, that that that's because it was so damn heavy. But it was a great off-road, on-road vehicle. Everybody knows the story of the Humvee. Um, it did things and went things where no other vehicle could go. <clears throat> In 1992, they changed the name to the Hummer. Oh, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. He was doing a movie called, um, I think, The Kindergarten Cop. And he seen these Humvees, and he seen them riding around. He was like, "Well, what are those? Can I get one?" And they was like, "Well, you know, they're not for people." But eventually, it was the Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. They gave him one. They made him allowed the public to get them. Oh, in 1992, that's when the public was able to get them. But the Hummer went to the Gulf War. In 1991, and it helped out in Panama in 1989. Um, 
They made them smaller in 2012, the H2. In 2009, the GM, General Motors Group, they eventually filed bankruptcy because the hum Hummers weren't selling. You know, it was a, it was a rush for them, and then it was over. The sale was over. Um, I even got the package of some of this Leonardo stuff. I had got some income tax, and I couldn't find no GI Joe stuff. So I went down there, I brought the tank, I mean, I brought the jeep, I brought the helicopter, <clears throat> I brought a bunch of men. At the time, they were serviceable, they were cool, but they were bulky, and they didn't have that much art articulation. But they did fit into the G.I. Joe um, corpse. It said the corpse, and then it says Leonardo. So Leonardo makes the corpse toys. And this is, I had this since... 2004 so that's pretty old if you notice there's a lot of dust on it a lot of dust um I love these two Humvees when I didn't have no G.I. Joe stuff they were it they were it um the, the, I think this is the original he is this is probably the original guy that came with it I don't his name should be on the side of it. Uh, First Lieutenant Bash. Bosch. B A S. Bash Hall. Bash Hall. First Lieutenant Bash Hall. First Lieutenant D E Bash Hall. This guy. Let me show him to you, see if I can get it to. The other choice was not bad because this ain't nothing but an old G.I. Joe. And it was corpse too. Can I get him to focus? Let me get my fingers out the way. Of course, I put the little pouch on it. He didn't come with that. Uh, see, Lenore Toys wasn't nothing but old G.I. Joe's. See his pockets? Can you see the. Did that say corpse right there? Corpse? What did that say? Focus, focus. Get it to focus. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I was very happy with this corpse stuff at the time. Like I said, this one, this is the only one I got that actually does something as far as roll and make sounds. It's got the two big guns on it. I changed the gun on one of them. I put a bigger gun with some bullets in it. This one I changed. I put my own gun on there with the bullets. Um, this one, you can. It has a rope on the bottom. Well, it has an indentation for indentation for a rope. This one, for some reason, I think because it's got the battery pack in it, they didn't put the uh, battery uh, the indentation for the rope on there. But the Humvee's a great vehicle. It's been around for a long time. I was very, very, very happy to have them. I have one in G.I. Joe. I'm going to pause this video for a minute and show you something. Here's another Humvee that I had in my collection. I got from Leonardo Toys. I think I got this thrifting. And when I got it, I didn't pay no money for it. <clears throat> this thing is hot. I love the way the doors swing out on this. I looked for this online in a real world vehicle and I could not actually find it. But this thing is hot. This is a very nice Humvee. It's just as flat and spread and wide as the other ones. Let me, matter of fact, let me put the other one up here next to it for comparison. loaded don't have no windows but that's no biggie this is the one I'm going to paint I don't know if I'll make it Cobra or GI Joe it's a good chance I'm going to make it Cobra because I have so much good guy stuff alright everybody I'm going to give you a spin on this with some music and I'm going to say um, I want to thank my mom I love my mom I want to thank my wife. I love my wife. I want to thank my kids, Christian, Kavina, Kevin, Joy. 
I want to thank my grandkids, Kennedy, Cam, my brothers, my sister. Thank you, Michelle, for your comments. Marcus, let your son see my video. I want to thank all the guys looking at my video. This is G.I. Jim and stuff. Signing off on another important toy video. If I missed anybody. Hating this one. Not touching this Desert team, this is my jungle team. Alright, everybody, it's GI Joe and stuff. Signing off on another super, super real world toy video. Good night.